Uh, no, I don't. How young? Sorry, I don't. <laughs> How young was the youngest victim? Sorry, I don't. <laughs> it wasn't a tent. It was this magnificent thing. It wasn't a tent. It was this magnificent thing. It wasn't a tent. It was this magnificent thing. When one mentioned Sandy Hook, there are three names that come straight away. Robbie Parker, Gene Rosen, and, of course, our friend here, Wayne Carver. Medical examiner Wayne Carver. You can't make that shit up. And, yes, he's famous for his, quote, the magnificent thing. Anyway, <coughs> poor bloke's died. Dies at 67. Did he commit suicide? Did they kill him? Was he about to speak? I don't know. But... Reading this article here, you'd think it'd be all about what he did at Sandy Hook because that was a pretty big event, wasn't it? So let's just read on here. Wayne Carver II, the former chief medical examiner who analysed forensic evidence in some of the state's most high-profile criminal cases, has died at the age of 67. During his career, Carver provided evidence that resulted in the conviction in the so-called woodchipper murder and described the jury as how Martha Moxley, a 15-year-old Greenwich High School student, died after she was struck with a golf club and then stabbed through the neck with a broken shaft. Amazingly, I, I've never heard of this. Probably no one else has heard of this. Uh, you wouldn't think that's the first thing they mentioned about Mr Carver. You'd think Sandy Hook would be the go. Oh, here we go. Carver also assisted in the investigation of the shooting rampage that killed 20 children and 6 adults at Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown 212. He performed the autopsy on the gunman as well as his victims. So that's pretty big. I would have thought that would be right at the top. So you can assume the rest of the article is about his workings at Sandy Hook. Carver died in hospital on Thursday. He was a resident of Old Saybrook. He began working in the medical examiner's office in 1982 and took over leadership, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he demonstrated time and again that the OC, OCME serves the needs of all the citizens of Connecticut, blah, blah, blah. Again, among his most notable cases was the woodchipper murder. Goes on and on and on, on and on and on about the woodchipper murder, that's it. Uh, the whole paragraph, woodchipper murder. He was also a naturalist who loved the habits of ospreys nesting in the marshes of Old Saybrook. He goes on about that. I used to take my sports toys and link them together to make a lab. I was a brilliant goof, goof off in school. He was also a serious mu musician. Goes on about that. So that's it. There ain't no more. You know? Twice they mentioned his wood chip of murder and they go on about all this other shit, but only a tiny little couple of lines. Uh, he also assisted in in uh, America's worst school shooting massacre in history. But, you know, only two lines about that. Why is that? Why is that? Anyway, who knows? Probably still alive. Who knows? Did they kill him? Who knows what happened? Anyway... There's our friend, the Magnificent Thing.